guys, what's up? It's Mick Guy here, and today we're going to be creating the part two of the spaceship game that we made two days ago. So far, we have a scrolling background. We have this um, this ship that moves pretty smoothly, and what we want to add next is some bullets. So to do that, last time we created this small little rectangle like that, and I'm going to adjust it just a bit. So we're just going to clear the whole thing, zoom in, and make it out of pixel art. So you want to um, basically go like that and it's going to look like a circle, but it's actually not. These are going to be the bullets and it needs to go like that and then Let's see. Okay, yeah. So these are going to be our bullets. Um, and then at the top, I'm going to put a little bit darker shade and make it like that, like that. And actually put it all around. So then you can really see it when it shoots. And also, we're going to make it so that you just can't shoot forever and you have to, like, um, you have to wait a certain amount of time before shooting again. So, first of all, we're going to want to go to our vents and say when flag is clicked change set size to 300 percent okay and um and then uh hide and then say control forever if and then go to key spaces pressed I want to create clone myself so go into control and drag in this here and then after that you want to get a when i start as clone then you're going to show it so go into looks and drag in a show and um, say go to the spaceship and um, repeat until and then go into sensing and say touching edge go into motion and say change y by 10 so now yeah it's a little bit too big so what we're gonna do is not a little bit a lot too big we're gonna set it to 100 and see how that, that looks a lot better. All right, so now you can see they're still at the top and to fix that, you wanna go into your control and drag in to delete this clone. So scroll all the way to the bottom and drag in to delete this clone. Okay, so then what we also wanna do is make it so that you can't shoot forever, like I said. So instead of doing that, we're gonna say when, um, wait one second. So now you can only shoot every one second. So now you can't just like completely spray at the enemies and it actually requires a lot more skill. Next, we're gonna add our enemies. So I'm gonna draw this one and for now, we're gonna change it later probably, but for now, we're gonna make it a, um, we're gonna use blue or let's use dark red. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these, um, so it's gonna look like, and put this here and they're going to be these little red ships that try to attack us so it should look like something like that and then i'm gonna provide you guys with artwork next time because this isn't very good i have to make this up on the spot but there we go and then get a, even the darkest shade and put little bullets right there and right there and then um add some white right here just some random white and then with the main color and the main shade of red i'm gonna color it in and i'm gonna add one more layer of white to make it completely symmetrical Cool. All right, so it should be like that. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty cool. So then go to your scripts and say when flag is clicked. Go into looks and say set size to uh three hundred percent. And then go into for uh control. Say forever. Wait one second, and then drag in a create clone of myself. 
When I start as clone, go into motion, and then drag in this go to, and make sure the Y is 180, and the X is a random number. So we're gonna drag in the pick random, and we're gonna make it from negative 240, which is the left hand side of the screen, to 240, which is the right hand side of the screen. And um, let me see, okay, yeah. We're gonna keep it a little bit more inwards, so we're gonna make it like negative 200 to 200. Um, and then, once again, say repeat until uh, touching, or actually this time we wanna go into operators and drag in a less than. Repeat until, all right, after, actually, repeat until touching sprite one. Actually, let's see. Okay, yeah, so go back into operators, my bad, and drag in this less than, and then make this negative 180, and drag in a Y position, so like, um, which is down here, and say change Y by negative two, negative two, and then we can make this four. And then go to control, and say when I start as clone, forever if go into sensing drag into touching and then we can make it sprite one then simply delete this clone and also do that for here now go into your data and make a new variable it's going to be called score and all we want to do is set score to zero when we start but change score by one when we hit it with the bullet all right so that's the main we can ignore that for now we're gonna add these. I feel like the background should move a little bit slower. So we're gonna go into our back costume that we made last time, make it two, and then go here and make it negative four. There we go. And then to hide this main um, spawner, all you wanna do is click the stop button and go into looks, say hide right here and show right there. All right, so then once you have that, um, we're gonna go into our, our stage, or actually, we're gonna create a new variable, a new, what do I keep saying variable? <laughs> a new sprite, and we're gonna choose a dark gray, and we're gonna make a little rectangle at the bottom. Then we're gonna go into one flat clicked forever, and then simply go to zero, zero. So for the X, you can press zero, and then press tab to skip to the Y. And there we go there. And we can put the score right here. And also with that, we can go into um, data and hide scrolling speed and X speed. All right, so that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment what you want next time or um, it'll probably won't be tomorrow, next weekend, because I'm trying to upload like two, three videos every weekend. And thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.